But we're going to talk about that today. How does one become godly? Now, in one of his books uh, that I appreciate a lot, John Orberg, he says that there's two ways to learn how to become godly. You probably know what they are. There's the hard way and there's the easy way. Once again, we'll start with the hard way. The hard way is try really hard, right? Wake up in the morning, look in the mirror and say, Nick Schatz, or say your name, first name, last name, you're going to be godly today. And just drink a Red Bull and try really hard to be godly. Now, I call that the hard way because it will not work. It will not work, especially not long term. You might be able to fake it. You might have a form of godliness, but you'll lack the power, right? You'll, you'll, you'll go through the motions, but, but you, you will not learn to be godly by just trying really hard. That's the hard way. But the easy way is just like the guitar there. You train yourself. You, you, have, you have disciplines in your life. You have habits that you form in your life that, that slowly lead you to, to do what you cannot do now. You have habits that lead you to the point where you can do them eventually, and you can train yourself to become godly. So what we're going to learn today from the text is that the Apostle Paul is writing a letter to a young minister, okay? He's writing a letter to a young minister, a young pastor named Timothy. And he's saying, hey, Timothy, the, the first thing that you need to know about being a good minister is that you need to train yourself to be godly. And what we're going to see is one of the key ways to train yourself to be godly is by digesting this book. Digest and chew on and, 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 and nourish yourself, is what the text says in verse 6. Nourish yourself on this book. And then once Timothy has been able to train himself to become godly, and he's, and he's fed himself, nourished himself on this book, then he's able to be a good example to the others in his church. He's able to train the people in his church. He's able to prioritize the teaching and the preaching of God's word so that his church can also become a good and healthy church. If you have verses memorized or you can begin memorizing and, and quote this book to yourself, read this book, but don't just read it. Meditate on it and, 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 and think about it and, and, and process it and uh, just, just let your mind dwell in it and, and sit with it. Meditate on this book, but, but don't, just, don't just read the book. Don't just meditate on the book. I mean, nourish yourself, feed yourself on it, uh, uh, digest this book, allow it to work its way into your cells and into your body. Eat this book. Let me pray for us. Father, we believe that your word is living and active and that it's able to pierce the heart, that it's able to transform us into the likeness of your son Jesus. I want to pray for, for our church, for Hershey Free, as they begin their training or continue their training in godliness by, by digesting this and nourishing themselves and feeding themselves on this book. I pray that you would transform them into the likeness of Jesus Christ as they work this into their system. Father, I also want to pray for anyone who's listening that, that is not a believer, who's, who's skeptical, but uh, Father, I'm just blown away that if anybody is, is listening that, that is a skeptic, I'm just blown away that they were so gracious to spend 30 minutes or 20 minutes or so listening to me teach on this book. I'm just blown away by that generosity. But I pray that you would guide them and challenge them to explore this book and to explore Christianity as they also chew on the words of this book. We pray this to you, Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.